Hi, it's Whitney. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some phenomenal travel accessories that will help make your next trip so much easier, so much simpler, especially if you're trying to travel with carry-on only. This was my mission on a big trip I went on last year to Greece. I did not wanna to have to check a bag because A, it takes so much time, B, I really didn't need to bring that many things, and C, it cost a lot of money to travel internationally and check bags. A lot of the things that I'm gonna share with you are also things that made my trip more comfortable. So if you're going on a really long trip, you're probably gonna to wanna to sleep on the plane, do whatever it takes to feel physically comfortable so that your legs don't hurt, your back doesn't hurt. These are all the things that I was taking into consideration. I did a ton of research and I ended up purchasing things that made a world of a difference. So let me show you what they were. The first mission of this trip was to find a bag that I could bring as carry-on and that would have plenty of space for me to store everything that I needed during my trip. I brought this huge luggage bag that was really pushing the boundaries of the maximum size. I measured it and I think it was like an inch over what I was supposed to bring on. I took six flights on the path from Los Angeles to Athens and every time I had to go through the boarding process and pass the flight attendants at the gate, I felt so nervous that they were gonna make me check my bag. And sometimes they tried to, but little secret, I managed to get my bag on no matter what. But it was such a struggle. And that's why the very first thing I want to tell you about is this brand new bag I got actually after my Greece trip that I really wish I had had with me because this would have solved that problem and made it so much easier. My new carry-on bag is this phenomenal piece from Pact. It looks really big actually, but it is much smaller than the one that I've been using and yet it can hold so much. It can expand or shrink, right? Because it really depends on what's inside. Before I get into all the incredible features of it, I just wanna let you know that I partnered with Pat to do this video and I'm so excited because I've been dying to show you all of my amazing travel accessories. There are so many eco-friendly components to this bag. They ship it in a fully plastic-free packaging. And inside, it was wrapped with this wonderful paper. There's a little card that tells you all about how they did it plastic free. This company was founded by minimalist. They wanted to keep travel simple and simplicity is a big part of being eco-friendly too. They're also part of 1% for the planet, which is all about how to be more environmentally responsible. Now let's dive into all the other amazing components of it. It has so many different pockets and each of them have careful consideration into how they're gonna work for your trip. So this one, for example, makes it easy to access your stuff, but it's also great because it's for TSA clearance. So you can put things like bottles of liquids in here and easily just pull this out to show to TSA. There's a magnetic pocket right here, so if you need things that are easily accessible. And on the other side, there are two pockets that zip. In here, there's a little strap that you could attach your keys to, and there's also a little slot that you could put your ID and any important cards that you need to reach. My favorite part of this bag is the main compartment. There are actually three zippers here. The first one has a little area where you can store your laptop. So I put my 15 inch MacBook Pro in here, and this is so brilliant. Most bags, if you need to get anything, you have to open up the whole thing and pull everything out. And this is designed so that you can easily just grab your laptop. Brilliant. And then on either side of this, there are compartments. One thing I love is that it splits open like this so that you can actually fold it open like a suitcase and then store whatever you're carrying on either side. Both of these sides have pockets in them so you can store things on the side. And there's also another zippered compartment. This bag is so brilliant because they've really thought about all these different ways that you can organize your stuff. Speaking of stuff, let me show you some more travel accessories. The first thing that I wanna share are compression bags. I bought these for the first time for that Greece trip because I wanted to fit as much as possible into my carry-on. And I highly recommend something like this. I'm gonna to link to every single product 
in the description field. I got these on Amazon. There's a lot of different compression bags out there. I don't think it matters so much which ones you pick. I really like these because of the design. I thought they were very pretty. And basically you can roll up all of your clothes in here and when you zip it up, it compresses it down to maximize the space. So that's great for a small carry-on bag like this one by Pax. Pack also includes a laundry bag to help you organize your dirty clothes, which I love. Feeling super comfortable on long flights is super important to me. And one of my favorite things that I purchased for my Greece flight is this. It's like a little hammock for your feet. You just lay this over the tray table and it hangs down, allowing you to stick your feet through and position them in all different ways that elevate your legs. This really helps out with your knees and made a massive difference in how my hips felt as well. I always like to bring some sort of a blanket on the flight for two reasons. One, to keep me warm because flights can get a little chilly. And two, just for extra comfort. Sometimes I'll roll them up and put them behind me for lumbar support. Sometimes I'll lean against them on the window. And so I got this bamboo blanket, which is really thin. It rolls up into this little pocket here that it came with. It covered my entire body. It actually has little slots in it at the bottom to put your feet in. So it kind of like doubles as socks. I always try to get some sleep on my flights, especially if there are hours where I'd be normally sleeping at home. So I always carry this memory foam organic pillow from Essentia. I've had it for years. It works very well. It's very cushiony. It's thick and it has a little strap here that makes it easy to attach onto things. What I also like about things like this is that they don't really count as part of your luggage because you can put them around your neck. It has a little button right here. So you can snap it on if you want to just wear it onto your flight or you can strap it onto any bag. Another thing that I tried out on my Greece flight just because it was such a long flight and I wanted to ensure that I was as comfortable as possible was this fascinating gadget. This is a blow up pillow that was designed to be like massage tables. Once you inflate it, it has spaces to put your arms through and your head in. So you're actually lying down at an angle like this on top of your tray table or you can hold it and lean against the side if you're sitting at the window seat. There's all these different ways that you can use it and it actually worked really well. I was very impressed with it. It wasn't perfectly comfortable, but it was definitely more comfortable than most positions and configurations. I find that these neck pillows are great for only so long. So after a while, if, I, if I'm laying my neck like this, I'll start to get really sore on one side. So I really loved the option of having this and being able to lean forward or have a little bit more bulk next to me when I was lying on my side. This next thing may seem a little silly, but I swear by this and I bring this on almost every single trip. It's something that I just don't want to leave home without and that is my portable squatty potty. This is a fold up plastic version of the bamboo squatty potty I've had for years in my bathroom. You can do your own research on this, but basically it helps you relieve yourself. Once I started using the squatty potty at home, I found that when I was traveling, I really missed it. So I was so grateful that squatty potty made a travel size version of it. It folds really flat. It came with this little bag to put it in. So, I just slip this into most bags and it really doesn't take up much room. Clearly organization is really important to me when I travel and I'm also somebody that likes to be very prepared. I like to bring on snacks, I have all these different natural remedies to make sure I don't get sick. I have different body care products I like to apply during the flight and staying hydrated is super important. One thing that's frustrated me a lot over the years is that when I get on the plane, I feel like I have to organize everything in the front seat back pocket. And so I was looking for some sort of a system, something that I could just pull out and put in front of me and have everything perfectly organized. And I was so excited when I found this bag from a tab. This bag has all these different configurations. So you can hang it where the tray table latches or you could attach it with these, which is what I found to be the easiest. And then it kind of just dangles down in front of you. And if the seat back pocket is large enough, you could slip this entire 
bag into that pocket. So it really depends on what type of airline you're on. The brilliance of this bag is that it has all these different pockets. It's similar to packed. It's got a, a zipped pocket in the front, and this is where I keep my amazing sleep mask. I use one from Dream Sleeper. Highly recommend this. I keep my blue blocking glasses from Swanwick, which are brilliant for reducing eye strain, and they can also help with jet lag. I also keep these sleep pods in there, which are made with a fleece material to be ultra comfortable and flat earbuds. So you can listen to music and fall asleep. These are so wonderful on long flights when, especially if I wanna like listen to some soothing music or play some white noise to drown out things like a kid crying. Also in the bag, I keep my water bottles. So I have two different types of water bottles from this company called Life Straw, which have built-in filters. So I really love this one when I'm traveling because it folds up. And then I have this version of it, which will attach to any type of water bottle. I'm a huge fan of Hydro Flask, so you just take off the Hydro Flask top and screw this onto the top and it'll filter the water, water that's inside. So when you're traveling, sometimes you don't know when you're gonna get your next filtered water. And if you don't wanna buy bottled water to save on plastic, then the Life Straw is a lifesaver. I have my to-go wear in here, my bamboo utensils, and my final straw, so I'm always prepared, don't have to use any plastic straws or plastic cutlery. The tab bag comes with this plastic container and I put all sorts of things in here. I have like moisturizer, I have breath freshener, I have antibacterial products, tissues, whatever I need, I'll slip in there and then I can easily find it. I have a little container for tea. I often travel with my own tea. So I'm always prepared to have a nice drink. I have my iPad in here, which I usually use to read books or watch movies. And this is super cool. This is a flight flap, which allows you to hang an iPad, an iPhone, any device that you have. You can configure it to prop it up on top of the tray table. You can also configure it to hang on top of the tray table. So that can be at eye level for you. And then lastly in this bag is something called Grid It. It's flat on the back and the front it has these rubber bands. And so you can put all your different cords in here. It's basically helping you organize it. So you can put your charging cables in here. If you're gonna bring a external battery, like a Mophie, you can slip it in there. I have my AirPods in here. Sometimes I'll put my phone in here. So I can easily organize and access all of my electronic cables and accessories. This is brilliant. So those are all of the accessories and items that have made a huge difference for me, especially on long trips. But to be honest, I bring these pretty much anywhere I go. They help me sleep better, they help me stay comfortable, they help me reduce plastic and, and keep me eco-friendly all along the way. If you would like to see me talk about the subject in even more detail, I've linked to a video in the description fields that goes really into depth about how I packed for that Greece trip and everything I learned, all the mistakes I've made, the things I would have been done differently, and the things that have really helped me for a super long international trip. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'd love to hear from you. Will you please let me know in the comment section below. What accessories, what items do you bring with you on trips? What has changed your life? I'd love to know if there's anything else that I'm missing that might help make my travel experience a lot more comfortable. Also in the description field, you can find links to all of my social media platforms where I talk more about my travels, especially on places like Instagram, and I'd love to connect with you there too. Give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos with tips and tricks about the vegan, eco-friendly lifestyle. And until the next one, I'm wishing you all the very best with your own journey wherever it takes you. Bye.